the American. After being attacked in Sweden, Jack, an expert assassin slash gunsmith, travels to Italy to lay low in a very quaint little town. Once there, he befriends a priest, though that really doesn't go anywhere, and begins to fall in love with a prostitute. But is he ever truly safe? I should maybe start by saying that this movie really isn't for everyone. It doesn't move particularly fast, and really isn't that similar to most new thrillers. It also most definitely is not an action film. We do see Clooney engage in his character's craft a couple of times, but this is always very short, fatal, to the point. There's no messing around. It also isn't glorified. The main focus really is on the inner conflict of George Clooney's character. And by the way, if you're a woman, or a man, I don't judge, who's sexually attracted to Mr. Clooney, you may want to watch this. There's fan service for you. This also has a couple of beautiful, sexy, and classy women. This is really refreshing in a time where far too many sexy girls in movies are just sluts. Granted, one of the main characters here is a prostitute, but she carries herself surprisingly elegantly. Now granted, there really isn't a lot of chemistry between Placido, who plays the hooker, and Clooney, but all of the acting is very, very good. The settings here are also gorgeous. Other than this quaint little Italian town, there's also this great little patch of nature which is visited. The whole thing is beautifully filmed and very nicely edited. It takes its time, it builds an atmosphere, it lets us delve into, get under the skin of Clooney's character. There's a very real feeling that at any moment his past could catch up with him. And there's very effective tension and suspense in this. The dialogue is minimalistic, very few lines, and plenty of time passes without anything said. I will say that not all of the dialogue is great, though. Some of it is very basic stuff. The music is also not excessive. It seldom draws attention to itself, and I never felt manipulated by it. This is a more art house approach to a thriller. This also uses sound and silence really well. Nothing that doesn't need to be heard is heard. And thus, every gunshot in this has the effect that an explosion typically has in a film. There's a real sense of urgency, a sense of threat and danger. We truly feel like a single bullet could end this movie. Think something along the lines of Michael Mann, you know, Heat, for example. Not that the two films are comparable in very many other ways, though. This is largely realistic. Though I would say the handling of the guns doesn't entirely hold up. There are artistic liberties taken. Also on the technical side, you can really tell that the director here, this is only his second film, has spent 35 years as a photographer. This man knows how to use a camera. The following isn't really a spoiler. At one point we see a nightmare, Clooney's character remembering what happened in Sweden, and the snow is such a sharp white that it hurts our eyes. We feel his pain. This is a superbly crafted drama thriller, with purpose, set up, and payoff to almost everything we see. A few things aren't followed up on. I already mentioned the priest he befriends, but on the whole, this is very satisfying. While this is exciting in a couple of places, it isn't really fun. It's a character study of an aging hitman, with all the paranoia that comes with that. If it sounds like it is for you, I suggest you go check it out. But if you don't think you have the patience or the attention span, then you might be right. That was my spoiler for review of The American. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.
this is a more out this <laughs> this is a more outhouse approach to a thriller.